from classic cars, we drove down the hills of Surrey to the airfield of West Mion, where classic aircraft awaited us. I was happy to see Steve Farrant again, who has visited me in the Philippines. Clive Ponsford and Jonathan Turnbull were also regulars at the Flying Club. Over sandwiches, we decided to take the Oster and two tiger moths out for a spin. We prepared for startup, with Steve and I getting a head start on Steve's World War II Oster. Steve fired her up, and she came to life to the beautiful sound of a prop-driven aero engine. Meanwhile, the tiger moths prop were hand cranked for startup. Taxing out with these tail draggers in a finely trimmed grass strip is straight out of a dream. Used for military liaison and observation, the Oster had good visibility with glass windows all over. The instrument panel was quite unique with its inverted compass and mirror for viewing. The elevator trim was located on the center tube of the ceiling, giving it the feel of an old classic aeroplane. Before long, I catch sight of Jonathan's tiger moth on my right and Clive on my left. The tiger moths were beautiful biplanes built in the 30s, used by the Royal Air Force as trainer aircraft. We were in perfect V formation flying over the beautiful English countryside. I could tell these guys have been having fun doing this often. Their movements and distances well coordinated. What a great feeling to be reliving the glory days of these British aeroplanes. Of course, I didn't pass up the chance to fly on the Tiger Moth as well. Taking in the sights in the open cockpit was such a thrill. We had such a good time. I just had to give Steve and the guys something from the Philippines. This is Lacan. It's a special coconut nectar spirit. And I brought it all the way from home for everybody to drink. We've finished flying, so I think everybody can start. It was a very interesting day spent with machines from a glorious era.